Hi everyone, thanks for watching another Speed Trap Consulting video. Uh, today we're looking at a full Garrett product that's been out for about two years, and that is the GTX 3576R. I'll try and make this a bit shorter than usual because of the fact that this has already been out in the market. People have seen this turbo already, but really aren't too sure as to whether or not it's going to be a match for them. Um, there's a lot of competition that's out there, and really the purpose of this video is to show uh, the fact that Garrett actually did make a nice turbocharger that fit uh, the needs of both without any real tweaking. Um, so for those that had a GTX 3076R, I have a video out there uh, regarding that. There were some drawbacks to it and uh, they were explained. And I found that the, this particular turbo is the answer to that. Uh, as you notice, uh, as usual, I always kind of have the uh, covers uh, modified in some way or shape or form. This one's actually anodized. It's something that we're experimenting with, but we're finding that uh, turn on time is just too long and uh, the expense is not really worth it. So uh, this is really just for viewing pleasure this time. So as usual, we'll go through our five points, which is our engine size application, power level and characteristics, purpose, and composition. Specifications, you can be able to find this on turbobygarrett.com and then just check out GTX 3576R, it's a ball bearing turbo, and you'll be able to see all the um, inducer, next inducer, as well as compressor map specifications. Because like I said, this is a full Garrett product, so nothing's been modified for this. Uh, so let's go into the engine application because really that's really the more important part of it, and then we'll, we'll go further from there. So for the four cylinder category, it's really those from a two liter to 2.6 liter with a great cylinder head, uh, something that's going to be using a bit better camshaft, slightly higher lift, a bit longer duration. Uh, for the six cylinder category, it's really for a 2.5 liter to 3.4 liter class. Um, same conditions in terms of a good uh, a camshaft was really recommended for something like this. Uh, and then of course for the eight cylinder category, four liter to five liter is really the best efficiency size point um, for this turbo. I'm not going to talk about twins and whether or not people are going to use this for twins. Um, we've never seen anyone use it. I'm quite sure there's better alternatives out there uh, to use for that particular purpose. So we're just going to talk about this as a single unit. Uh, power level and characteristics. Let's look at power level. Uh, really, um, the purpose of this is really about a good 600 to 650 wheel horsepower. Uh, I know that in uh, Garrett's ultimate wisdom, they like to try and be able to kind of downplay uh, the power levels that these are available for for maximum efficiency. And um, you can check out Turbo by Garrett, and it shows it's about 400 to 600. But we have tested this out on a few cars, and uh, really, this is the best 500 all wheel horsepower turbo. Um, uh, that really is available. There's things that even we try to make that try to come close, but this is a monster because of the fact that it still provides a wonderful level of torque, uh, similar to the GTX 3076R, but without that drawback of um, uh, lack of top end power. So, uh, and again, this is where the 3576R outweighs the 3076R, uh, the X series, GTX series, um, is because of uh, one particular area, which I'll go into in a second. So the characteristics really, like I was saying, was uh, it's a mid-range time attack turbo for the 2 liter class and up um, that use high speed driving performance events, time attack, uh, circuit racing, not so much for autocross or really for um, those that want to have a good street 500 to 550 wheel horsepower um, combination over 2 liters. So we found that the, the best um, Characteristic for this for the four cylinder class, which is where we find those that get uh, these more than anybody, uh, is their effective range is about 4,000 to 8,800 RPMs from the 2 liter to 2.5 liter class. Um, and for the six cylinder class, we're talking about um, a good, efficient six cylinder uh, that's going to have a good camshaft with it. Uh, it's going to be an effective range of about 3,500 to 6,800 RPMs, um, give or take. For the eight cylinders, uh, really because of just this larger displacement and depending upon uh, the CFM flow rate of the cylinder heads, you're looking at easily 3,300 to 6,000 RPMs for its effective range uh, of, of power that's being used. Uh, the effective boost pressure, uh, really even though the, the, the compressor maps say one thing, uh, in actuality the boost pressure uh, efficiency is really from about 15 pounds to about 34. So it's, it's a pretty wide uh, range of pressure uh, to be efficient with this. Um, the purpose of this is to solve the GTX 3076R problem, uh, especially for the 2 liter to 2.6 liter class of 4 and 6 cylinders. Um, the GTX used a fantastic compressor wheel. The GT, this one actually uses the same compressor wheel, exact same specifications, and compressor cover, 
okay, uh, as the GTX 3076R, uh, but the thing that was addressed more than anything else was that it eliminated the turbine wheel to compressor wheel mismatch, okay? So instead of using the standard 60 millimeter wheel, this is one that's using the standard GT30R, GTX uh, 3071R, GTX 3076R, and a few others, this is the N32 uh, 60 millimeter exhaust wheel, it's actually using something a bit better. It's now using the same exhaust wheel as the 35R. This is the N111 uh, 68 millimeter 35R exhaust wheel. So for those that had a 35R or a variant of that, including part of the GTX series, uh, you can keep your turbine housing and be able to swap this cartridge right into this, uh, especially for those that are looking for a little bit less power than the larger DTX 3582, uh, 3586 HTA, uh, uh, Reaper ball bearing, or anything that's going to be using the 68 millimeter exhaust wheel. If they want to go down and do a different type of driving, they can swap it out for this type of cartridge, okay? And they can keep their housing configurations. It really kind of really uh, made it to where you can now have better range of torque, especially for the 500 horsepower class. Um, those that, especially in the Evolution 4G63 and 4B11 series, uh, they like the GTX 3076R in terms of its compressor wheel, and the map showed that it was going to do over 600 horsepower at 60 to 62 pounds a minute. But because of this exhaust wheel that was 60 millimeter, uh, it really could do only about 570 to 580 at the most. And that was at over almost 40 pounds of boost pressure. And that was because of the fact that the exhaust wheel had gone past its efficiency point, um, regardless of housing. So uh, that's what we found was the biggest issue. And it looks like Garrett really had addressed it. The cool part about this, again, in terms of the composition, is that this is a full Garrett product. Okay. So again, if you have anything from a GT28 all the way up to a GT35, you're still going to use the same water fittings, which are 14 millimeter. The same fitting, he, uh, feed fitting with a restrictor of 30 thousandths. This is a 7 16 fitting. And the same return flange uh, as you had for the GT series. Again, this is good from the GT28 all the way up uh, to the GT35. So if you have something like this or you're looking at getting that, this is what's going to fit that. Again, this is also comprised from the GTX 3076. And that is, it's using a full 0.60 AR using a 4-inch inlet portage route with a 2-inch outlet as opposed to the 70AR TO4S compressor cover which uses a 2.5-inch outlet. Uh, really it's more just of a flare to be able to fit with a, uh, on the end of the compressor cover. So if you had a 30R and you want to be able to swap this in, you could actually take uh, the same space requirements that you had before and be able to use this and pop this in. And like I said, for the turbine side, this one is coming with a uh, 2.5 inch 4 bolt. You can still fit any of the other uh, turbine housings that you had for the 35R. This includes even something as large as this. Uh, this is, uh, say, a T4106 uh, AR, and this came from a regular 35R. This would be able to fit directly onto that because you have the 68 millimeter compressor wheel. So, again, specifications, which we usually go into, you can find that on turbobygarrett.com. Um, and I know that I always say that I like certain turbos, but I really like this one, especially for those that are two liters and above that want to do time attack um, and high speed driving events um, or a very good high revving, uh, high efficient uh, 1.9 liter, 1.8 liter, uh, you know, Honda series, which is really the only uh, cylinder heads that could be able to keep up with something like this. So that's our review for it. If there's any questions, please just uh, give us an email um, through speedtrapconsulting.com. Be safe boosting. Take care.